Hi, everybody. I'm Emily Price, the Executive Director of Healthy Birthday, Inc., the nonprofit organization that created the Count the Kicks Public Health Campaign. And this is a great and exciting week for us because we're bringing back some of our favorite people, including author Kara Brookins. Hi, Kara. Hi, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Oh, you guys are in an easy group to spend time with. I love what you do. Well, likewise, if, uh, if at any time we needed someone with grit in this world and determination and perseverance, Kara, uh, as you may remember, uh, built a 3,500 square foot house with four small children all by watching YouTube videos in Arkansas. And so we're really excited to talk with you today, Kara, because um, we think you probably have some, some good wisdom to share with us during this difficult <laughs> and trying time. How are you getting through all this? You know, it, for me, it, it's easy in one respect because I have a project list that is decades long. You know, I'm a, I'm a real project and goal oriented person. So I have that, but also, you know, I've had to really work to balance that in trying to be productive and trying to really push myself and say, you know, use this time really well, but also to give myself a little bit of a break and realize we're all also going through something that's really tough. So to balance my projects with the productive things, but also some fun stuff and especially fun stuff that creates a connection. So in addition to, you know, building a ladder in my library, so my cat now has its own shelf up here that he can, he can watch me work on. So I have a coworker in, in my library. In addition to some fun projects like that, little things that create a connection to other people that I can use online, like just, you know, watching Tiger King. Whether it's your thing or not, it's a way that people are all connecting and sharing an experience. So finding those little things that, that keep connection strong, um, I've been looking for those. So it, even as an introvert, which I am, um, even as an introvert, it's tough. It's a tough thing to not have connections. So I'm making them and, and finding new ways. For the moms and dads at home right now with their children on homeschooling their children for the first time in their lives. I have a, a four and a nine-year-old. It's proved interesting. <laughs> but uh, you built a house with four small, small children. And I think of you and I think I really shouldn't be complaining about this. Um, what, what would you say to the mom or the dad who is at their wits end right now? Frequent breaks. I mean, I have a 14-year-old that I am now a homeschooler too. And ill-prepared. I mean, yes, I get the kids to build a house, but in my opinion, that's easier than getting them to do their math. You know, so um, <laughs> for us, it's been it's been trying to take frequent breaks, and by breaks, I mean having him outside helping me with the gardening and doing things hands-on with him. This afternoon, he's going to help me install a new light in the in our laundry room because our light is go is flickering and going out. So we're gonna install a new light together. So it's doing the school stuff, but taking frequent breaks from it because they're not used, to, we think they're used to staring at a screen all day. They aren't used to learning from a screen all day. So they need breaks just like we do. And those breaks should involve connections. You have as many real life actions in the home as possible and some connections with people outside, but just you know finding finding some new spots to do that. Of all of the projects that your family has in the works, I think the most exciting project right now is uh, the arrival of a new grandbaby in August. If oh my goodness. And, and, you know, of course, I've been waiting for this. A number of things in my house that I'm like, this is for when the grandkids come. So it's super exciting. And to be able to focus on something like that, and we can all find something that is positive in our family to focus on. And for us, it's, you know, making a quilt for the nursery and helping to pick things out. And all that's happening by text message and virtually because she is not here. I'm by Little Rock, Arkansas, and she lives up in Ontario, Canada. She married a Canadian. So, uh, yeah, I think it's snowing at her house today and, and, you know, nice and warm at my house and sunny outside. Um, so there's, there's that distance, but we're still able to connect and focus on that. And it really reminds us how this is temporary. 
this is temporary. All of our family traditions will all kick back in, whether that's a month from now, six months from now, a year from now, we're going to get back to it. So um, yeah, that's that's been a great thing to, to connect with. And of course, to immediately introduce her to you guys and, and the apps so we make sure she's tracking baby and making sure she, we know it's a girl, making sure she's healthy. So it's been a great focus. That's fantastic. Thank you for sharing the app with her. One of the things that we're, um, you know, a little concerned about at this time is, um, you know, just making sure that moms are using that app and not hesitating to talk to their doctor or to call and things like that. But you said she's already downloaded it. She's, <laughs> even though she's not at 28 weeks yet. She's, she's not even there. Yeah, she's 21 weeks, but I had her download it like two days after she told me she, you know, she was, had a positive test. So she's been anticipating it for a long time. That's so exciting. And you said a baby girl on the way. Baby girl. And she has a stepdaughter who is seven. So she's been a mom for three years now. So it's been fun to watch her, you know, fall into that and, and really learn about momming and now to, you know, add, add another one to it. So yeah, it's, it's a really fun thing for the whole family. That's so exciting. Congratulations. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Catch us up on, on, on how you've been since we last saw you a, a year ago. What well, you know, my big focus has, has shifted a little bit in that, you know, I'm still, I've been doing lots of stage things and even now doing virtual things right here from the library. I spoke to like 35,000 people just a couple of weeks ago from right here. So, and I've got a couple more of those virtual presentations coming up, but I've been really expanding and trying to find lots of new ways to reach people just to kind of get people started because there are people every single day that reach out to me and say, I have this thing, I know exactly what I wanna do, but I don't know how to take the first step. I can't just make myself move. So I focused on putting a lot of material together that addresses that, that talks about you know, fears and procrastination and how we build the knowledge and the confidence to dive in there and, and reach for that big goal because so many of us have it. You know, there are a few people who come in there like, I don't even know what my thing is yet. And I'm working on some stuff to help people do that. Um, so there'll be some, you know, a lot of free material posted on my website, a lot of stuff that I'm just starting to prepare since I have some extra time on my hands, um, you know, that I'm, I'm putting together for that. So that's been fun. And, you know, new ways to reach people online. And also we're working um, on a TV show. So, uh, that is in the works, and I don't know when I'll have more information about that, but we have been working with uh, Lionsgate and another production company on hosting, and this would be my oldest daughter, Hope, and I, on hosting a television show in the home improvement space. So we're doing lots of virtual meetings with producers over the last few weeks and trying to set that up. So that's a really new thing that, that could be a lot of fun. And of course, a way to connect with people who are in that DIY space, which so many of us have been thrown there more than ever now that we're, you know, we're home and we're gonna try the new recipes or try to build something or we don't have a choice but to try to fix our own plumbing because the plumber can't come or won't come into our home. So I think it's a, a really a really good time to mm -hmm. play with that idea. So uh, hopefully we'll be filming by the end of the year. Um, That's very with, everything's paused, so we'll see. That's very That's exciting. exciting. If people wanted to learn more, is the best place to go karabrookins.com and also follow you on social? On social media, especially Instagram has been the new thing. I'm trying to do more of the stories. So I do videos of different projects I'm doing and, you know, things around the house as well as when I'm traveling. So, uh, yeah, Instagram and the webpage. Well, fantastic, Kara. It's so great to reconnect with you and we really appreciate your time and um, so glad to hear that your family is safe and well. And um, we just wish you nothing but the best until we see you again. Well, thank you and keep saving those babies. I love watching you guys. Thank you. Likewise.